Uh, Ms. Liberty, uh, I want to thank you for your uh, video commentary about the right of people to protest in the nude, to make any kind of public statement in the nude. I think your arguments are perfectly um, valid and, in fact, unassailable. No one has the right to expect that others will behave in such a way so as not to offend them. It's absolutely correct. I think it's important, however, uh, to point out that you uh, defended this right for self-expression in the public sphere. In fact, you, that your use of that word, the public, um, is in your video. And that's important because, well, if the truth is told, um, in a Randian society, there wouldn't be much of a public sphere now, would there? Uh, as a matter of fact, it, it would be so minuscule, it would be on the point of vanishing. It would be confined to those few public buildings, um, government buildings that exist. But otherwise, everything else would be privately owned, now, wouldn't it? There would be no public libraries. There would be um, no public parks in which people might want to uh, gather and protest and get naked protesting. There would not even be any public roads. There would be all private roads. And of course, a uh, a major tenet of Randian thought is um, the right to control their private property. And that if you want to use their private property, you have to contract with them um, to use it. And, and they, you know, they get to set the terms of the contract and negotiation with you so that if they say, if you travel down my road or you people gather in my park, well, we'll let you do it, but you can't get naked when you do it. You see, their private property right trumps your right to engage in behavior that they might find offensive. And although it might be irrational for them to do that, well, in a Randian society, people are allowed to make irrational choices and live with the consequences of them. As long as they think that uh, if I inhibit you from getting naked when you protest, that enhances um, my ability to use my property in such a way as to um, guarantee my survival, perhaps even give me some well-being by means of my property. Well, then they have the right to do that. So the irony is, Ms. Liberty, that if you want to enjoy this right of protest, a protest that might actually involve offending people, then what you need to have for that to be expressed, to have greater expression, is to have a larger public sector. Because that's the only place that your right, your right to protest and to even get naked doing it, that's the only place in which it can occur according to your argument. Away from Ayn Rand.